Welcome to the version 3 of uh, the stock analysis worksheet. In this user video guide, we will see how uh, we can use this uh, worksheet to analyze our stocks. So before we go into the process of seeing how to use this stock, uh, important information I would like to uh, share with you. Uh, once uh, you will first open this uh, worksheet, you will see this uh, message that will uh, pop up on your screen. It will say that this worksheet contains macros. So once you see this message, you have to click the enable macro button. Please do not kill, uh, uh, click the disable macro button because uh, that way the worksheet will not work. So please click the enable macro button and once you click the, uh, uh, that button, this page will open. What you will have to do now is you have to go to this find your stock uh, sheet. So once you go to this sheet, a new uh, window will open. This window is nothing but an interface for you where all the list of stocks are mentioned here. And uh, uh, you have to, you can search for your stock here. Suppose you have decided that you want to do the analysis of Hindustan Zinc. So let's search this stock. I will just type in few letters of Hindustan Zinc. Uh, I will just uh, type this much and click find. So this worksheet has uh, took me to Hindustan Unilever. So this is not my stock. So I will click the next button. I will click the next button and see here uh, the Hindustan Zinc. So once uh, our stock uh, is name is highlighted here, the next we have to do is to click this analyze button. So once we click this analyze button, the it will take us to this general sheet in this general sheet uh, you have to if you want you can fill some information otherwise you you can uh, leave it as it is by default so the information that you can fill here are all those cells where which are highlighted in red only these three cells you can change from your end so if the 10 year government bond rate has changed uh, 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 now suppose the 10 year government bond is 6% just type in 6 here uh, if your expected return is higher let's say 15% so you just type 15 here and uh, uh, in this uh, cell you have to give a percentage uh, about how you feel about a company suppose a company like, like Reliance Industries or TCS where you have a very high confidence so even you can give 100% here but for a Hindustan a company like Hindustan Zinc, which is a fantastic company, but maybe you are not feeling so good about it because of some reason. So you can give 85% here. So depending upon how, you, how much information you have about the company, how you feel about that company, you can change this percentage here. So if you do not know anything, I will suggest you leave this percentage as 85. So once you have done, uh, just click this click to evaluate button this is the button uh, upon clicking which uh, the worksheet will start downloading data from internet so let's click this button uh, i will click this button now click to evaluate i have clicked it is downloading lot of information from internet so it will take some time depending upon mm, your internet speed it will take time to download the data as soon as the data is downloaded you will get this message so once you get this message, uh, this is a successful uh, uh, data is successfully refreshed. So you will get this message, click the OK button. And once you click the OK button, that's it, my friend. That's all you have to do to use this worksheet. So this worksheet has downloaded all the financial data in the background and it has generated these three reports. The report that you are seeing in front of your screen, this, this is the report. This is the main report i call it as a cover sheet the second is the ratios sheet all the financial ratios all major financial ratios of uh, the company is mentioned here so this is the second report and third report my favorite report uh, this is the snapshot report i mm, we can use this uh, report to glance at the performance of last 10 years performance of the company uh, so we, you can see here how Hindustan Zinc has performed from March 11 to March 20. In March 11, just for example, its sales was at 10,000 crores 
and now after 10 years its sales is now at 18,000 crores similarly you can check this for uh, net profit of the company the net profit 10 years back was 4,900 crores now it is 6,800 crores and these are the numbers uh, where you can see the growth numbers uh, I have mentioned in this report so similarly you can also check uh, a similar information for the balance sheet of the company and also for the cash flow statements so uh, that's it my friend uh, these are the three reports uh, that i generally use uh, to uh, get information about my stock uh, these are the other reports uh, where the sheets are mentioned in black these are the other very very detailed reports if you are interested to know more about the company you can check these reports as well but for most people the uh, information provided in these three sheets are more than enough so if you want to know about a company you please use this worksheet and it will give you a lot of lot of in-depth information about the company and as there is no manual entry now so uh, you can check uh, your stocks uh, in a very quick speed now but but few few uh, 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 disclosures i will like to make here first is uh, as this uh, worksheet is now a connected worksheet it needs to download data uh, from uh, a database uh, to analyze a stock so when you are using this worksheet it is very important that you should be connected to internet so please uh, remain connected to internet while using this worksheet otherwise this worksheet will not be able to fetch data second thing about this worksheet is it is an interesting uh, interesting thing you will like it uh, you can see at present uh, when we are launching this uh, product we have a list of 150 stocks so what you see here are top 150 stocks of uh, Indian stock market so uh, but uh, it is not that this worksheet will only work for these 150 stocks over a period of time we will go on adding good new stocks to this list and once we add uh, these stocks into our database this list will uh, get refreshed how to refresh this list for the new stocks you have to just click this refresh list button so once you click uh, mm, uh, this refresh list button this list will get uh, this this uh, list will get automatically updated so how often you should uh, click the refresh list button i say every fortnight every 14 15 days you can click this refresh list button and see uh, if some new stocks have come or not so just uh, i will show you how how this refresh list uh, button works click this uh, button and uh, this is now checking that whether in the main database uh, some list has been updated or not so uh, once this uh, once your uh, worksheet has downloaded the fresh list it will show you this message click ok and ready to go your uh, worksheet now has all the new stocks mentioned uh, uh, in this list so suppose uh, while using this worksheet you find that uh, your stock is still not mentioned in this list and you want to analyze that stock so in that case there is another possibility you have you will have to go to the main product page of the stock analysis worksheet in this product page you will see this section where um, uh, you, you will have the option of filling a form you can just click this fill form uh, tab and this uh, google form will open and here you can mention your stock suppose uh, you want to uh, add this stock to your list so you have to provide just two information the name of the stock and the link of that stock uh, from money control give us these two information and we make sh and we will make sure that we will add that stock into this stock list just be ca be careful when you are mentioning some stock there because this uh, worksheet has two limitations first is uh, this worksheet works only for non-banking stocks and this uh, uh, worksheet only works for those stocks which has at least 10 years data 
so uh, regarding this 10 year data i have uh, i get uh, generally a lot of feedbacks from its users that why 10 year data what about uh, uh, new companies so uh, i would like to uh, tell you that uh, developing a worksheet for a 5 year or 6 year uh, uh, database would have been much easier for me when we have prepared this uh, worksheet for those stocks which has at least 10 year data there is a purpose because uh, the purpose is uh, the stock which has at least 10 years data i personally feel that that those numbers are more reliable a stock which has only 5 years data uh, the reliability is not as much so uh, that's why this worksheet works only for those stocks which has 10 year data so there will be uh, some stocks which has less than 10 year data i'm sorry even if you uh, you will request us to add those stocks in this uh, list uh, uh, it will not work so that's why we will not add those stocks so when you are suggesting some stock for us to add here in the google form please make sure that uh, they are not banking stocks or they are not uh, uh, such stocks which doesn't have 10 year data so now as soon as these two parameters are screened out we will surely add your stock in this list you have to just click this refresh list button and uh, that stock will start appearing in this list so it is completely automated sheet i hope you will enjoy using this sheet over a period of time so go on and try the iterations and you will i'm sure you will enjoy using this uh, worksheet finally i will like to mention here that uh, in the in product page of this worksheet uh, the limitations of this worksheet are mentioned in some detail so before you go ahead and use this worksheet please read those uh, limitations please read the faqs that is mentioned in the product page before you start to uh, use this uh, worksheet so please read the faqs and uh, read the limitations of this worksheet and uh, i am sure you will enjoy using this worksheet thank you very much for watching